Sagan. Hello, it's your boy Afro Sawade, and welcome back to Modern Combat 5. And today we got ourselves another gun game. We're going to be playing with the Tier 3 weapons. I decided to save the Tier 7 weapons for last because, well, that's basically what you guys, most of you guys decided to do. So, um, yeah, we are playing with Tier 3 weapons, and again, I am not using Jolly Gun. That thing is new. I realize that now. I hope we get into a better lobby than the one that we did yesterday. That was so bad. The T core. I mean, it's not a horrible gun, but let's be honest, there were only three good weapons in the sapper category. And and you'll know what they are just by playing. What the heck? What is this lag? Is this lag? I don't understand. Well, the T core's got, it's got a fast fire rate. That's good. And I'm actually putting in some work with it. Oh no 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 no! Come on, stupid shoulder gun. Yeah, I was putting in some work with it. I also have the assault turret, but I never used it. But it is what it is. I'm not trying to get close to turrets right now. The what is this? The AX100. I think so. Don't quote me if I'm wrong. I'm not really versed in the support weapons. Alrighty then. I just got lucky because he literally stopped flying for two seconds, and thankfully that was enough to get the kill. I don't have the flash hider unlocked for this one, so bear with me. Bear with me on this. Got a tiny, tiny capacity. It's 55. I only have the large clip unlocked, but I, I assume that the that the extended mag is going to definitely increase it up to like 60 or 65 or something like that. Still, a very, very, very small capacity for LMGs in this game. But once again. As I've said with the SODAR and the RSR, it is a very weak support gun. I literally have to steal kills. Or kill people. Oh boy. I can't see him. I literally have to steal kills with that one. The Aris, one of the three bolt action snipers in this game. And bolt action snipers are cool. Ugh! What? I was about to say, I hit him. I hit him. I've been working on my quickscope. As you, as you can see. Oh. Ugh. Oh, I, I, he moved. He moved. Snap, I'm, again. I don't claim to be the best sniper in the world. Never will. I just want to be good at it. I just want to be decent at it. Oh, almost had. Pretty much picking off uh, easy kills. And I have a silencer on it so it doesn't have to, uh, so I don't have to reveal my position. Which is good, because I can miss all I want and no one will know where I am. It's not a luxury I have with the Jedi. Ah. I wish you could put a silencer on the Jedi. Anyways, that is the Eris. I've already gotten two kills with it. And I'm still alive, so... Let's see if I can... Oh, I messed up. Yeah, he was gonna knife me. Everyone likes to knife snipers. The Lux MK2. Which, coincidentally, is also... Mark II in my... Oh, I thought I headshotted him, but it missed. I see the bullet hole in the wall. Yes, this is going much better than the match yesterday where literally everybody had a shoulder gun. Lux is arguably the best pistol in the game, but, well, at least it used to be arguable. 
Now, I like the judgment and judgment only. Judgment is the best pistol. You should definitely invest in getting it. It's not like you have a choice in which guns you can actually try to get. The SMOS. A pump action shotgun. Ugh. That is the most powerful in the game, technically. It has the highest damage of any shotgun in the game. But it's only tier 3, so it has very little armor penetration. But it's very accurate, so you can actually get uh, kills like that. Ah, crap. And since I am pretty good with shotguns, I can actually make this thing work. I've got 16 rounds that I can fire at any time. Ah, shoulder guns. Beautiful. And I am just going off. This is what I mean when I say this thing is awesome. I say this thing is awesome. It's but this is the best low low tier uh, shotgun. Uh, what? No, oh, he was still shooting. Uh, he just teleported. Right then, the CTK Crumpler. With a unique sight. And. Relatively high damage, but it only. You only get three rockets per life, so. I'm gonna have to uh, die. And yes, I did die. And. Against, like, regular armors or, like, armors that don't really uh, specifically protect is really good. Look at, look at that. I'm using tier 3 weapons and I go 18 and 12. I like this lobby. The, um, what's this called? Oh, <laughs> brain fart. The AMG 200. The tier 3 LMG for the Bounty Hunter class. Well, it is the LMG for the Bounty Hunter class. And this guy is destroying us all with a cock. Oh, rip it. No one wants to do that. Anyway. <laughs> this is a... It's a good LMG. I'm not... I don't have any, like, damage boosting attachments for it. So, it's pretty powerful. In close range, but it's a very inaccurate LMG. Honestly, it's relatively easy to get, and it can match up with the other ones, the other like tier four through tier seven LMGs. The UFIA PSG, the one you can get for a bundle once you when you start this game, when you start first start playing this game. Well, at least you can now. That's actually how I got this thing, but I really never used it. Let's go, I beat the cog with the UFI. It's not the most powerful what oh my gosh, shoulder gun. Not the most powerful weapon in the world, but I do have uh anibus armor, so I have like twice the capacity. Or like no. Oh my gosh, my aim! Maybe it's not my aim, because I was hitting my shots, but it wasn't. Oh, the lag. Yes, it is definitely the lag. Not a very powerful weapon, and I don't have all the attachments on that. But I do have flash hider, so that makes it a bit easier. Oh boy, I see concussion grenades, because no one can avoid those. Especially me. Especially me. The jolt. The tier 3... Recon for a submachine gun. Very inaccurate. All this shaking. I messed up. I thought he was still going up the stairs, but he stopped. I could have killed him. I could have killed him. He would have been humiliated because he just got wrecked by a jolt at distance. Which is not this thing's forte at all. You can't even put a grip on it. 
so so as inaccurate as it is, as, as, that's as inaccurate as it's going to be. But you can put in some good work at close range, learning to get headshots. It's got a fast fire rate, and that's good. So that is the tier three. Yeah, he's going to kill me. 69%. Lol. So that is the tier three gun game. It is the fastest I've ever actually gotten through a gun game. Two, two matches. That's pretty good. So, uh, like for that. I want to get a, I want to get likes for that. How quickly we were able to get through these weapons. Okay. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment if you did, and subscribe for more. Modern Combat 5 content. Next up, we have the tier 7 weapons, which is by far going to be the easiest thing, easiest gun game I will have done on this channel so far. And you know, we're just gonna rock out and have fun. So, until then, this has been your boy Afro Sawade. Sign it up. This is a firestorm. Fucking Damn,